everyone, it's Stephanie here and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be creating a loved themed card and I'm going to be using the Hearts and Twine Dynamics. This is one of my favorite dies to use when I want to create something kind of love themed because all of those little hearts are kind of connected together but all of the inside pieces come out. So you can get really creative with the colors that you're using. And of course I decided I wanted to use rainbow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some panels of cardstock and I'm going to add ink to each of them and kind of cover the whole panel. So I'm going to go ahead and use all of my favorite rainbow distressings, which is wilted violet, peacock feathers, mowed lawn, mustard seed, abandoned coral, and picked raspberry. And I'm just going to very quickly go over each of these panels and add ink all over the inside area, almost covering the whole entire panel. Once I have them all covered, I'm going to do what I like to do on any distressing panels, and that's add some water to create a little bit of texture in that ink. So I'm just going to use my distress sprayer, which is filled with plain water, and I like to put it into the palm of my hand and then kind of flick it onto the panels. Once I have it on there, I'll take a paper towel and I'll dab that water up. And what that does with the distress ink is it reacts with it and it actually lifts some of that ink right off of the paper. And you end up with this really cool texture looking background. I just think it adds a lot of interest to a card when you have this little bit of detail on the inked panel. Now once I have all of the panels completely covered in ink and I've done all of the water treatments and I've also let them dry, you don't want to die cut them if they're damp, I'm going to go ahead and take the hearts entwined and I'm going to die cut it from each of these pieces of cardstock. Now you want to make sure when you do this that you keep all of those little inside pieces. So you can see here I have all of them piled together and I made sure to keep every single little piece that came out when I die cut it. I also have some white pieces that I've die cut as well as some black ones. I just want to have the outlines for those. And I have two panels of cardstock that I'm going to be working on. The panels of cardstock measure four inches by five and a quarter. And the first thing I'm going to do is adhere the black outline piece to my panel. So I'm going to use some liquid glue. I find this is easiest since it's very intricate and you don't have a lot of space to add the glue. You could also add some double sided tape to your cardstock piece first and then die cut through that directly, which will also help to adhere it on very easily. So now that we have the background piece fully adhered to our panel, now comes the fun part. I want to fill in all of the little hearts with all of the little pieces that we've die cut. For my two different cards, I'm going to create a rainbow order and I'm going to start with the purple on the bottom for this one. And then you'll see a little bit later in the video that I also reversed it and started with the pink at the bottom, just for a little bit of a different look. So what I like to do for this part, I know I'm going to be covering almost all of the black outline piece when I'm done adding in these little pieces inside. So I'm not really worried about getting glue onto the black outline pieces. So I'm just taking that same liquid glue and I'm going inside all of the heart areas where I want to add the different colors. And then I'm just using my tweezers to put them in there just like a puzzle. I find that using the tweezers makes it so much easier and quick to add in the little pieces just because you can really see what you're doing and some of these pieces are very small so I just feel like I have a little bit more control when I'm using the tweezers. And then once I add that last one in there you can see that we have a fun rainbow design with that really stark black outline which I did not want to have in the final card. I didn't want to have that much emphasis on the outline I wanted it to kind of remain on the colorful hearts. So what I did is I took one of the white outlines and I added glue all over to the back of it and then I layered it on the black piece but I offset it just a little bit to create the look of a shadow. And I really love how that highlights the hearts but also lets a little bit of that black shine through to really let them stand out on that white background. And here's the second panel I did. I did it exactly the same way. I just switched the colors and reversed the rainbow order of the hearts on the card. So now that we have both of the panels done, we can go ahead and do our sentiments. So I'm going to be using the From the Heart stamp set, which is a really great stamp set for all year round. I love this one because it has a bunch of different sentiments that are actually meant to go together. So you can create stack sentiments, you can do some single ones, it's kind of whatever you prefer or whatever your card design allows. For my two cards, I decided to do a single strip sentiment as well as a double strip sentiment. So the first thing I'm going to do is add both of my panels to the card bases. I just picked out two card bases that matched one of the colors in the rainbow that I created. So I have a Razzleberry as well as a blue raspberry, and I'm just adhering the panels directly on there. Once I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and adhere both of the sentiments that I have stamped and heat embossed with white embossing powder. And I've just trimmed them down to small strips and I'm adding them directly onto the hearts with some regular liquid glue. And then once I have those lined up on there, our cards are finished and we have these two really fun, colorful cards, perfect for Valentine's Day or pretty much any time of year. And we still have a ton of die cut pieces that we can use to create a bunch more different cards. So I hope today's video gave you some ideas on ways that you can use the hearts and twine dynamics to create a really colorful look on your card designs. 
As always, I appreciate you being here for another video, and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks so much for watching.